This video is going to show you how to solve inequalities. This is very much like solving equations, okay, with one difference which we'll get to uh, towards the end. Okay, let's have a look at question one. So in question one, we've got k plus four is greater than six. Okay, so unlike equations, you'll get one number which k is. Okay? In this one, we're going to get a range of numbers which would make this statement true. So that if we added 4 to whatever k is, it would be more than 6. Okay, you can probably think of some in your head. If I had k was 10, 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 is bigger than 6. If k was 1, and I added 4 to it, well, 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 is not bigger than 6. So that wouldn't work. But in the main, we treat these exactly the same as we would an equation. So... What's happening? I've got k, and it's having 4 added to it. So I need to do the opposite of that. I need to take away 4 from both sides of the inequality. So k, so my next line, is k is greater than or equal to 6 take away 4 is 2. So k has to be more than 2. It can't be 2, because 2 would give us 6 on the left of the statement. 2 plus 4 is 6. And 6 isn't greater than 6, it's equal to 6. And this question doesn't have a greater than or equal to sign, it's got a greater than sign. So that is our solution. k has to be greater than 2. Now if we have to show that in a number line, which is question sometimes 2, I have 1 there, 2, 3, 4's there. Okay, really quick number line. My circle needs to be above 2, don't shade it in, because it's not equal to and k has to be more than 2. So k has to be any number that side of it. Question done. Okay, why don't you have a go at doing uh, question 2 and question 5. Okay, press pause and then my answers will appear when you press play. Okay, in question 2, you have to add 3, you need to do the opposite of what's happening to y. Y's have taken away 3's, add 3 to both sides, so you've got Y is less than or equal to 5. Drawing that in a number line, I need a solid circle above 5, and Y has to be less than 5, or equal to it. So I need to be on that side of the line. There's my diagram. Okay, in question 5, we've got to add 3 again to both sides, so this time you get... 5 is greater than x, so x has to be smaller than 5, x is at the little pointy end. Okay, Remember the big, no, bigger number is always to the open end of the crocodile's mouth, the inequality. So let's draw that one. So this time it's only greater than, so I have an open circle above 5. Right, now the numbers we want, I want to choose a number that is less than 5. Okay, 5 has to be greater than it, so that's all the numbers that side. Done. Okay, I'm going to try to show you one of the harder ones now. Okay, question 21. Okay, think of it just as an equation. You can almost think of this really as 3t minus 2 equals 25. We've got to do the same things. So t is having two things happen to it. So it's being multiplied by 3 and then take away 2. We need to do the opposite of those. That's add 2 and divide by 3. Go do the inverse of those in the opposite order. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides first. So I get 3t is greater than 27. Remember to do it to both sides. I nearly forgot there. And then divide both sides by 3. So that gets me t is greater than 9. Okay, and you draw that in a number line, so it'll be represented by really quickly. So there's 7, 8, 9, let's put 10 on. Circle needs to go above 9. T needs to be more than 9. It's got to be that side of it. Okay, question done. Just like equations. All right. I'll give you the answers to some of these questions in just a second. I'm not going to draw the number lines for them. Okay, um, you should be capable of doing that now. Okay, I'll put the questions up here in just a second. So press pause, have a go at a few of those questions, and then answers to all of them will appear. 
Okay, there's answers to those questions. Okay, now we're going to have a look at the one difference between these and solving equations. Okay, there's one situation where we need to differentiate slightly from when we solve equations. And that's when you get to a stage in solving an inequality and you have to multiply or divide both sides by a negative number. Okay, in the questions you've just done, you've been dividing by plus 3 and both sides are plus 2, or maybe multiplying both sides by 3 or multiplying both sides by 2. So you've been using positive numbers. When you have a negative and you multiply both sides by it, the rule you have to remember is that inequality has to change direction. So if it's pointing to the left, you need to change it once you've divided or multiplied by a negative so it points to the right. It has to go the other way. Okay, and we'll do that by looking at a couple of other examples. So let's look at question one. So in question one, we've got four minus two p is greater than twelve. Okay, so first thing to do is take away four from that side, take away four from that side. So I'm left with minus two p is greater than and you only wrote twelve is greater than eight. Not eighteen. Right, so let's think of some numbers that would work here. Um, if I put 3 in where P is, I get minus 2 times 3. That's 6, or minus 6. Minus 6 is not greater than that. So let's try and solve it. So let's, what have I got to do? I've got to divide by minus 2. Divide this side by minus 2. So I'll get P, and I'll get minus 4. So if I put this in, I divide both sides by a negative, so I need to flip the sign. So P has to be less than minus 4. Okay, we flipped the inequality. I divided by a negative. The inequality sign must change direction. Let's have a go at the second one. Okay, let's have a look at the second one. So, first thing we've got to do, take away 2 from both sides. So take away 2, take away 2, so I get minus 3v is greater than or equal to 20. I have multiplied or divided okay, by a negative, so that's the only time you flip the inequality. So what have I got? Minus 3 times something is less than or equal to 20. Okay, so my next step is to divide by minus 3, because I need to get rid of that. I divide this side by minus 3. Okay, let's have a look at what would happen if we didn't flip it. V. I've made a mistake. That shouldn't be 20, it should be 18. Okay, so V is less than or equal to 18 divided by minus 3 is minus 6. Okay, right. Now, why is it we have to flip the fraction? Let's go back to the question. So, the question says that if I do 2 minus 3 times whatever I think v is, it should be less than or equal to 20. So at the minute, I think v has to be less than or equal to minus 6. So let's pick a nice number. Minus 10 is less than minus 6. Does that work? Minus 2, take away minus 3 times minus 10. Well, that's 2. The two negatives make a plus 30. And it should be greater than or equal to 20. But it's not, because that is 32. And 32 is not less than or equal to 20. So that is incorrect. And that is why, when we do these, and we get to this stage, the inequality must change direction. So it must be that v has to be greater than or equal to minus 6. Okay, there's a load more questions there for you to practice. They're just like solving equations, except if you multiply or divide by a negative, change the direction of inequality. Flip it, okay? 
I've got the rest of them.